Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Today we're gonna continue the main quest, uh, namely the quest The Looming Shadow. So we're gonna talk to Avald again, the Sun King, and uh, possibly finish this game. I don't know what's going to happen, but I feel like everything is coming to a close. We're gonna head into a, a final confrontation with Helis and the Eclipse, but uh, we're gonna need Meridian's help with that. Hey, Lloyd. What brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target of Odd. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the city guard fortify the western ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the spire rests. Okay. Anyway, Marad is pretty allow me helpful. To apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. And horny. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death. I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm I'm glad that's behind us. That was a bit now, awkward. It will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Here we go. Um, talk to blame is Marad. Okay, so we just told him everything, I assume. Um, Marad, where are you? Down the stairs? A vicar? Who does it? Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Okay, hello, blame is Marad. Oh, hey, Preparations are underway on the rigid defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for Shards. But many came for you, by name. Interesting. For me. Don't be so humble. So, uh, yeah, we did gather a lot of allies in the, over the course of the game, but uh, the ridge... The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes. Bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. Which is You're awesome. welcome to tour the defenses. Oh, that might be not such a bad idea. Oh, Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. Ooh. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parlay with them. I will. Indeed we will. So what happens now? I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. I love his last name is Delverson. Because he, well, he liked to delve. Review preparations at the ridge and review reparations at the spire. And then rest before the final battle. So resting is over here. I can check the preparations at the ridge and the spire, but that's a bit further away. So uh, why not do that first? 
So, what's the preparation over here? Uh, so that's the second mark over there, yeah? So let's check them out. Have you just polished what kind of defenses the do they have? Of course. Isn't Doesn't that look like there's much here. What? Aloy. Tab. I told you I'd be here. Why you the hell are you tab, here? But have your wounds even had time to heal? Honestly, if I fought, I'd probably come undone. But don't worry. I'll leave that to the other Nora at the Spire. I brought supplies instead. These Karja have made me an honorary quartermaster, whatever that means. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I could get used to it. We'll be setting up caches of arms and medicine under these banners. Look for them when the fighting starts. Huh, that's Maybe interesting. When you went into the mountain, did the goddess tell you our chances? She yeah, they were pretty to. good. I know we can do this, Tab. Maybe we can. I think we can indeed. So thank you, Tab. Um, what the? Is there anything else I need to do? Oh, and the damaged... Ooh, I'm gonna check that out as well. So there's more Elizabeth Sobek journals available, so... Last time I visited Prime was November of last year. Months since have been a blur. Flew out last night to oversee installation of the central armature and the master override. You're welcome, Ted. Which was completed by 4.30. So I decided to grab a few hours of sleep before heading back to Zero Dawn. Called Gaia before I bedded down, ostensibly to update her on the site plan. But the truth is, I miss her. I missed her. I've developed a habit of speaking to her before I sleep. Seems to be the only thing that calms me these days. Woke to a message from Oswald. The Odyssey launched yesterday, so terrestrial life's chance of survival has doubled. Why then do I feel so uneasy? I just keep wondering what kind of world far zenith will create if the ship reaches its destination so many decades from now. And I worry about that alpha build of Apollo. So much knowledge, so few restraints, and no fail-saves. How will they avoid repeating our mistakes? What's to stop them from playing God? So Elizabeth had the same reservations as Ted did. That Pharaoh did. Forwarded the Odyssey message to the Alphas. Naoto replied in less than a minute with a poem, of course, The Building of the Ship by Longfellow. And it's long, alright? I didn't read all of it, but it seems to be about launching a ship rather than building one. This stanza or couplet or whatever leapt out at me. Humanity, with all its fears, with all its hopes of future years, is hanging breathless on thy fate. Yeah, Odyssey and Zero Dawn both. Speaking of which, I should get back to Zero Dawn. Guess I should stop by Naoto's lab and check on Demeter's progress too. If I can get out of there my, without a volume of ten Tennyson pressed into my hands, I'll count myself lucky. Till next time. And then the next time, Halloween. Travis came by trick-or-treating, dressed up like me. Should have seen that coming. I gave him a half-eaten packet of dandy waffles as a treat and kicked him out. But not before he invited me to some kind of Italian horror extravaganza he organized for Zero Dawn staff. Seriously, as though there isn't enough horror in the world already. Anyway, I was already scheduled to fly out here to Gaia Prime for final inspe inspections with Harris and the President's delegation. Ted was here too and he was not looking good. Kept fidgeting and couldn't seem to look me in the face without blinking. I was relieved when he boarded his vert and flew back to TB's. Though... I guess I shouldn't complain, if he wants to build himself a deluxe shelter to ride out the apocalypse, let him. Keeps him out of Elysium and away from me. Harris stuck around long enough to give me a detailed briefing on the strategic situation. Basically we've entered the terminal phase, as though the color of the sky when I was flying over here wasn't clue enough. Another two or three weeks and the atmosphere won't be breathable anymore. The last vestiges of European and West African Civ brigades are trapped with their backs against the Atlantic. The swarm that scuttled, scuttled across Antarctica is crossing the Straits of Magellan, about to start its death crawl up South America towards the Amazon. All the work we did to reconstitute the rainforest, and it comes to this. And advanced elements of the Pacific swarms are already skirmishing with units on the Kalmar seawall. The noose is tightening. Projections show we can still finish in time, but the margin of error is more or less 10 days. Not a good spread. If the plague breaks through ahead of schedule, well, it just can't. I will not let that happen. Enough writing, I need to get back to Zero Dawn. Enough reading, 
We need to get on with this. Why is there another thing I can investigate over there? I don't know. And frankly... What the hell? So we talked to Tab, right? Is there something else I can check out? I think the game is a bit confused, so give me a second. Huh, Talana's here as well. Talana, why are you here? I'm your hawk. Where else would I be? Defending Meridian with Avad? I leave that to the rest of the lodge. I will not stand aside while one of mine fights alone. Not again. Okay. I'm sure you really you appreciate that. For all of us. You can't ask me to stand by and watch. Not when I have the power to change it. Then I won't ask you. It's settled. I will fight by your side. My only request. Name it. Leave the biggest machine for me. <laughs> no Fair enough. Fair enough. Thank you, Talana. That was great. Luckily, I spotted her because I almost just ran past her. Um, so there's a way down and a way up. I'm supposing they're right next to the spire because we've never actually been here. And that thing looks horrible from up close. It looked a lot better when I was far away. I thought it was solid black rock, but hey, apparently not. And there's a lot to check out here. Let's go over there first. Seems like Varl and Sona are over here. Tree. War Chief Sona. War Chief, Hello? you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the metal devil that threatens us all, but my place is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. Okay then, that's the Nora for you. Then we have... Who's that over there? Oh, that is Varl. Or not. Yeah, that's Varl. Hello, Varl. Greetings, Aloy. Don't, Varl. You don't need to bow. The anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? Yeah. All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen, from something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Yeah, luxury problems. Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> Don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil. You make it sound like I'm gonna die. Says, or because you say. I think the goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. Okay. So, and then who's left? The grumpy, the grumpy guy whose name I forgot that started shouting at me at the beginning of the game. So who are these guys? They call themselves oh no, the Aaron. Eclipse. What does that even mean? It's when the moon gets in front of the sun, idiot. Is that supposed to sound scary or something? I don't know. They used to be Karja. Karja are always yammering about sun and shade. <laughs> well, if they used to be Karja, how tough can they be? Yeah, they're best guys just like birds. We'll rip their little feathers off. And let's not get cocky, boys. Yeah, I'd like to see that hey, happen. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. Yeah, they're gonna have a lot more what firepower. Most, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be Look a lot of her her hair machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's big. Very big. It sounds that's like the our entire kind of world. Fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! line. And why? Yeah. That's, Steel that's before iron. iron! 
Because you're called the Vanguard. Do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit back! Damn right! Nice. You hear that? Nobody's getting past the Vanguard. We're here for Meridian. You're four guys. And we're here you're gonna you. die. Sadly. Thank you, Erend. But thank you, Erend, indeed. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. Okay. Then I'm guessing we're gonna have to kick this thing off, aren't we? So, uh, I don't think there's anything back at the ridge. I don't remember seeing anything, so, uh, I'm gonna head to Olin's apartment. I'm gonna sleep there, and then we're gonna kick everything off. Um, but before we do that, I actually got the last two journal entries, so let's read those as well. Such a close thing. It's been, what, 43 hours since Harris warned me? Said collapse of the Eastern Line was imminent, swarms launching some kind of pincer maneuver versus the Wichita salient. Five or six days more and I think Gaia could have launched without our help. I really do. We had to scramble, Zero Dawn became a madhouse, absolute bedlam. Every team rushing to stabilize code and lock it down as Gammas got evacuated, then Betas. Once Gaia was on her way, I gathered the Alphas together to give them the bad news. Felt like I was going to throw up, but they already knew of course. They knew the work wasn't really finished. Close, but not quite there. Still tests to run, kinks to smooth, work to do, so they accepted it. No Elysium for us. We'll spend the rest of our lives here, testing and polishing each subordinate function to perfection. Guess that's what you get when you recruit a bunch of obsess obsessive perfectionists. Managed not to cry until I got back to my office. So here we are, setting up Gaia Prime. And yeah, such a close thing makes me feel nauseated all over again when I contemplate how the fate of life could hinge on coincidence. If I'd never proposed the Lightkeeper Protocol, there never would have been living spaces constructed here. If I'd abandoned the protocol sooner, the necessary life support systems never would have been installed. If, if, if. At least we won't have to endure the creepiness of raising and training clones of ourselves. The genetic material was never processed out of the cradle site, so it's not even possible. For which I am glad. I really, really wouldn't want to spend time around the young Travis State raised by Travis State. No, it'll be up to us to perfect Gaia, one generation only. Update, that was General Harris. The salient has collapsed, USRC expects to be overrun in two days, which gives us 72 hours at best to lock down and seal up. Bury the life for life's sake. I'll go tell the others. So wait, she just mentioned that it was impossible to make a copy of anybody still alive. Huh, interesting. But yeah, never mind. I'm gonna go back down and I'll see you guys at uh, Olin's place. Huh. So you must be Aloy then. I thought there'd be more of you. More of me. Thicker, I suppose. More of a gear wheel, less of a ringlet. Don't get me wrong, you're very well struck. Do all Osirim flirt at the most inopportune times? Inopportune? Battle hasn't even started yet. Petra Forge Woman, I hail from the Free Heap. I'll be heading back in the next dust storm. Well, apparently this woman was someone I could talk to first. at the Cannons bridge. Of age dwell, but I've cleared their throats so they can really roar. And she started flirting with me, so uh, need me to test one can out. Can I try one? Everybody wants a turn. Have at it then. Okay then. Ooh, so this is actually a weapon. Oh my gold. Look at this thing. Boom! Boom! Nice and wide. No need to aim it like a bow. Okay then. Let's just drop it down again. Okay, with that uh, tested out, I'm gonna. Head to Olin's place, as I How promised. Many men do you think you'll kill me? So it is kind of weird that Olin's apartment is the place where I can rest up now, because technically Olin is still alive, he got his family back, so he should be living here, right? Or am I so wrong? That seems like a pretty blurry picture. Oh, there we go. It's a thunder jaw. A mosaic thunder jaw. So let's go up the stairs, and yeah, let's use Olin's bed. This is pretty weird. Rest before the battle, no way back. Or do more preparations. No, I'm I'm going for it. Here we go. Laying down. One last time. Well, I'm hoping not one last time, but... 
the final battle. Good night, Aloy. How could you sleep, Elizabeth, with a weight like this pressing on you? Well, she How talked to Gaia. After you lost your family. Silence? Are you there? I guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. Well, you're not wearing your focus. So... Ooh, skill points. Ma'am, there are signs from the west. Sun okay. King of Oz awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Here we go. The face of extinction. Suit up, Aloy. We're ready for this. Ooh, yeah, the weather is the weather is lovely. And Avald looks worried. How big is the force? Ooh, yeah, that that those Jack are signs from the west. Massing forces for the long march to the city gates. That's not wood smoke. Nope. Then what is it? The end. Or how it begins anyway. Holy shit! Okay. I think that's going to change the landscape a bit. There's at least one dead bringer. Two dead bringers. Okay then. I'm guessing we're in for a fight. The death bringers you spoke of. To the guns. To the guns. Now. By the Why sun. aren't we at the spire? Run away! All of you, be ready to fire! Will the guns hold them back? Yeah, indeed. Yeah, thought something like that was gonna happen. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Is that healers? Okay then. Oh, he's just gonna punch no. everybody. Rally the vanguard. Send reinforcements. Aloy, no. We need those guns. He will cut you down. Not this time. Okay, if you're uh so sure about all of this, you have fixed Okay. There we go. Oh, that explodes immediately. So I'm guessing the end I'm gonna have to lure him over to uh Boom to those thingies. Accept it. Accept your weakness. Ooh. Oh no, that's that was a bad idea. I thought that was gonna be something in the middle there. Um Yeah. I kinda died. Can I just fire at this guy? Um, must run red to be cleansed. He's quick. There we go. That's all of his uh, reinforcements. Why do you fight? Come on, get closer. Boom, baby. If the Deathbringers keep firing, this bridge will go. I'm gonna have to try and uh, lure him in. Bridge can't take much more of this. Damn it! Locked again. I could use the gun. Can't let him in close. If 
I just keep moving. Come on. Ooh, this is annoying. He's quick. It's giving way. Do I need to complete this at a, in a certain time? What are you before the terror of the sun? The one who will take you down. Come on, get down. I am chosen. You came from nothing. Oh, this thing is starting to fall down. You will die on nothing. I think I got him. I chose you. This was not meant to be. Goodbye, Helis. What are you waiting for, Aloy? <laughs> None of this was meant to be. None of this was meant to be, Helis. You made it happen. And stab him anyway. So many, and for what? To die on your knees, used like a pawn by a power you don't even understand. You pity me? Yeah, just to annoy you a bit. And ooh, that was that was a quick jab. Goodbye, Helis. I would say see you in the next life, but I'd rather see you don't won't see you in the next life. I don't want to see you in the next life. Okay, next up on the to-do list. Ooh. Okay, am I gonna keep that or not? That sounds like something I want to keep. Um, yeah, here we go. Can I just whack this open? This door is locked. Oh, breach door. Oh, for fuck's sake. Seriously? There we go. Just gonna quickly uh, make a few more arrows. Especially those that I used in the fight. There we go. More of that. Whoop. There we go. Get right down. But we'll get a bit of speed. Uh oh. Don't don't break off the dead right before I'm there. Oh shit. For Meridian! Hold the line! Where do you need me? Take up a cannon! On the platform! I kinda do need to arc this thing. Goodbye! What the hell is that? From the west, where's the west? That was the west. Okay, let's go grab another bombing thingy. The place. What the? I'm back to the bombing thingy.
There we go. This thing packs a punch. Goodbye. There we go. Clint Hawks! Boom! Just gonna get to the other platform because uh, I'm getting attacked constantly. Oh, they're dropping their weapons for me, which is good. I'm gonna try to shoot with a bit of an arc. Almost have him. Oh, I'm so gonna kill him when he drops down. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes, that was awesome. Okay. Time to go. There we go. A few hits in. I think I can pretty much hide behind this thing. Got a pretty good angle on him. Murder everything! You will die! Goodbye. Okay. And then it calmed down. Okay. Well, I say calm down, but there's three more dead bringers over there. Where are these things? Where do these things keep coming from? Incoming! Open the gates. Ooh. 